and Logan Webb, Dero, is pitching well. Yeah, I think last year we asked a question, who would be your worst nightmare for you to go back and face it's right him? now? I said him. Why? Two-seam, slider, occasional changeup, kryptonite for me because he expanded the plate. He turned 17 inches into 24 inches. And I'm going to get into it. He is Mr. Reliable. He is Mr. Consistent. You know what's coming. You don't really have to game plan for him. And he still gets you off his barrel. And what I love about him, he ends up signing that five-year 90. I tried so hard. I thought he was going to be our ace for Team USA. Talked to him multiple times, and he said, Dero, I have to balk at the opportunity because I'm getting ready to get paid. And that's exactly what happened. Five for 90 from the San Francisco Giants. And you take a look here, pitchers with a 130 ERA plus or better each of the last three seasons. Framber Valdez, Logan Webb, Roflo. Oh, by the way, he leads the world in homers. <laughs> okay. But Logan Webb, and he said he didn't have his best stuff yesterday. Didn't have a great feel for his changeup. Used the slider a little bit more. We're going to get into it. I just want to love on the consistency, durability, how he... People don't understand. The fact that he's able to go north of five innings, pause this every time, what that does, it allows Gabe Kapler to reset his bullpen. He doesn't have to extend everybody to cover innings. It sets up the next series for him where he's got everyone fresh. But I want to focus on the ability to move the plate. Mookie Betts is one of the best hitters in the game. But when you're focused so nightly on controlling the strike zone, I see it. These guys know ball, ball, strike, whatever the case may be. This far off the plate, and it's called the strike, they're turning around to the home plate umpire like, are you kidding me? I know that's a nano off the outer half. So for him, Logan Webb, he does it better than anybody. He takes these 17 inches, and he has the ability to expand the hitter's mind to start thinking that this plate, especially against the righties, starts moving here. And then against the lefties, he throws the paralyzer like Greg Maddox, and we'll get into that. He had in that bat against James Altman. So run this back for me real quick. And the Dodgers do an occasional... That's an aggressive... They do an occasional job coming out late at a commercial with a bug, I don't even know what this pitch is to Mookie Betts. <laughs> we got a changeup, oh, oh. Trying to make money, honey. Come on, let's get into it. So, oh, oh, changeup. He doesn't get the call. Run that back for me right there. This is the perfect example. Pause. You're 1 0 against Logan Webb. Look at the score. Nothing, nothing game, bottom of the third. You probably bought yourself a cheap heater right here, no thinking. Watch where this starts and watch where this ends up. Ball away, middle in. That ball is running this far, and he can't barrel it up. Now let's go to, now I can throw kind of a backup, not a very good slider, and I get this spit take on it because I can't pull the trigger because I'm susceptible and I know it to the sinker. And now it's a battle. Are we in slow-mo for a reason? Boom, run this. Okay. <laughs> run that back for me real quick. And here's Mookie Betts. You talk about being on the proverbial rocking chair, right? So that sinker's running so much, now he's got to cover it. He's lost track of what the 17 inches are, and now he's on the defensive. This looks like a ball up out of his hand. Top of the zone two seamer. See you later. And that's what it looks like from low home. Run that back for me one more time. And he's a guy, pause, that stands on the first base side of the mound, which actually gives the right-handed hitter that split second more to try and decipher. But man, this pitch up here at the top of the zone to Mookie Betts, he quits on it quick. He thinks it's a ball and it comes back in. And what is, what is he looking for consistently? This is why it was a nightmare city. You can't get inside on it. What do I mean by that? This is steady diet of ground balls to third base. Nothing more frustrating, pause that, than being up there against a sinker ball pitcher, knowing he's coming in, and your whole job, you got two types of hitters on a sinker. The guy who tries to fight this bottom hand, 
to stay inside, shoot it up the middle the other way, or you got the guy who just cheats and bails, leaves himself susceptible to the slider and off speed away, and he's like, I am getting you out of here. So later in the game, you're forced to go out over. How does he attack the lefties? James Altman, run this. Little paralyzer two-seamer in, change up down and in. That's the pitch, run that back for me. This is the pitch, because now he set you up. Oh, oh, he threw you to two-seamer in. So you are under the assumption that anything in is gonna come back. Run this. He's going, I'm going. That's his two-seamer. Nope. Slider down and in, and now he tunnels off that. Ooh. So he gets you thinking, it's coming back, now it's going in, now it's coming back. Bring up his pitch usage real quick. Nothing strays. I mean, this is who he is. Fastball 50% of the time, little slider, little change, and he figures out what out pitch off speed is working for him that day, and he goes to it. So he is just Mr. Reliable for me. Love watching him go about it. I hated facing guys like him, the Brandon Webbs of the world back in my day, but worth every penny.